back to Learn Bell Camp, meet out in the woods here. It is Friday, the 13th, September. And, well, it's that time. Coffee with the lad, V Log, <laughs> for September 13th, 2024. Woohoo! <laughs> anyway, um, some things accomplished. Today was kind of a weird day. I woke up a little later than I wanted to this morning, but I went into town, got some groceries for my mom, a couple things here. Um, I'm going to have to go back out Sunday and go to Carlton Place because I need to hit two other stores for my mom, and that's when I'm going to do the bulk of my uh, groceries. It was on Sunday. So uh, that's going on. Uh, started to get the platform for the tent moved and rebuilt. I had Jeff here. I picked him up after I did the uh, did my mother's groceries. Anyways, uh, he took sick all of a sudden here, and wanted me to bring him home immediately. So I did, and uh, so I don't think he's going to be back here to work. Uh, he wasn't too happy, um, just with the whole not my situation, just his whole situation kind of thing. And now it's impeding kind of on mine. So it's like. You know what maybe I'll just find someone else to do the basic work I have true for the real stuff here that's not going to change so anyways we'll leave it at that um, so I can turn the camera around you'll see I've moved the uh, well him and I together move the uh, the um, platform for the tank so anyway it's gonna need shimming you know to make it level and everything so um, I put an ad in for the Lan in the Lanark community uh, Facebook page so I'll find somebody there because I'm not really looking for a carpenter you know somebody that can do basic crap like that but mostly it's going to be labor work like weed whacking which uh, Jeff got done on uh, yesterday before the weed whacker quit and uh, so I moved the boat further back. Uh, I needed it out of my way. It's ready for the water anytime. Uh, I was going to take Jeff fishing tomorrow, but that's off. It was off even before I picked him up. He uh, he um, has an obligation for uh, some work that he was supposed to finish uh, at his place uh, for his landlord. So that is obviously priority uh, for him. So anyway, um, so. I think what I'm going to do tomorrow, I'm not going to get up early, early to go fishing. I'm not really much of a morning fisher. I like the late, late, late afternoon into the evening dark for walleye. I call it the witching hour. There's a reason why I call it the witching hour. You know, walleye fishermen will know, understand what I'm saying. So anyhow, um, just going to go over to Robertson Lake. Um, I'm just going to bring two fishing rods, one the lead core, which I won't really need, I guess. I don't even know why I'm going to bring it. But uh, during the day tomorrow, I've got a, I got a fishing rod that I want to restring uh, for regular line on it, 10-pound um, um, braid. So uh, we'll get that one rigged up, and then uh, we can do some maybe so, slow trolling around. I know where the, where, the, where the walleye hang. If we don't get anything happening that way, well, then I'll park the boat, I'll anchor it off this one spot I know, and we'll do some casting in towards the little island and then drag the lure back, and maybe we can hit the nose of some of these walleye. They should be on the bite tomorrow. The weather's nice. It was 27 Celsius again today. No humidity. I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, this weather, like I said yesterday, yeah, yesterday's vlog. The weather is just out of this world. I was teasing Lisa at the campground today saying, you know, we really should just uh, wing it and reopen and see what happens. I mean, I don't have a say in it. Like when I say we, I'm just saying like, you know, if she reopened, I probably would drive down there. I'd just bring the tent and the boat and that'd be about it. It's like, I just want to go do fishing. Because of course I'm checking the weather there and I'm checking the wind direction for Georgian Bay where I fished there at Wyerton Owen Sound. And of course, every day it's coming out of the south, southeast. It's like flat water, flat water, flat water. And I'm like, can you believe this it's like okay anyway she doesn't keep the campground open past labor day as i've spoken before so uh, it's all it's all moot point so anywho um so i was mentioning weed whacking well my weed whacker my old john thread finally gave up the ghost well i didn't really think i'd be able to get one online but 
of course, I'm wrong again. Uh, I went to Amazon. I found one called a Miwa. M I M I W A A, whatever it is. Anyways, um, it's a Japanese model. The, um, yeah, it's Mifawa. And it's a 41cc one. It comes with a few little attachments and stuff like that. It was on sale for 25% off. And then they also gave a $50 coupon on it. So it's like it was under just, just a little over $200 by all time said and done. And I ordered that yesterday. And of course, they delivered it today. No, oh, that's my phone. So there it is. You literally can order from Amazon weed whackers now. I mean, what's next? Uh, John Deere tractors? I mean, it's just crazy. So anyway, I'll put it together tomorrow. I'm going to read this. One weird thing, though, it revs up to like 9,500 RPM, which is like, wow, you know, like that's really high revving. But it wants me to run it at 25 to 1, and I'm used to everything being 50 to 1. So anyway, I'm just going to double check that in their brochure, but... I think with the really high RPMs and everything, that's why they have you running it at 25 to 1. So, anyway, that's not a problem. It's just uh, I'm not used to it anymore. So, but it came with all kinds of little cool things. It came with a blade. Um, okay, so there's a couple of things in here, I guess. Or no, there's... Hang on here. I think this is the... Uh, it came with a blade. I've never used one of these... I've only ever used the one with the string that comes out, right? So, yeah, this is the one that's got that three-way blade. And then the other one looks like a circular saw blade. So, um, that's for heavier weeds, I guess. Yeah, they call it a 40 T, whatever that is. I don't know any of that. 40 teeth, I guess? 40 T? Does that make right? Per inch or per, I don't know, or 40 T for the entire thing? So, there's that. And then they've got the regular thing with the string. So I doubt I'll even use a string with this. I mean, because everything here, it's not like I'm doing edging or grass. It's all, you know, wild. It's weeds. It's bush, right? So, I mean, uh, I planted some uh, uh, clover, but I didn't plant any this year. My clover didn't come back. I'm kind of surprised. Anyway, so it came with that. There's the part with the string for the string. They give you like a little oil uh, thing because the gas tank is separate no you can mix it there's a gas tank on it but then it also you can mix this up and have that mixed up as well so i guess it, it does look interchangeable i don't know no that's not right that because this is where the oil goes and then the gas here anyway whatever i mean i just use a regular gas can so i doubt i'll even use that and then it came with a you know standard guard and then it came with a really nice setup for you know like using it meaning like uh um I just notice there's no handlebars. I thought there was a double handlebar that came with this thing. Or is that it there, maybe? Well, that's one. Anyways, um, doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, it's going to be a lot easier to, to use it, meaning hold it and use it. Um, well, maybe they have these extra handlebars that uh, I saw in the picture. You had to order them separate, maybe. Like, they're like these two... You know, when you're holding the thing, it's got like two bars out like this. And in the picture, it shows that. But I don't see that it came with anything like that. But it doesn't matter because, I mean, with the, with the, with this, you know, you're holding it and you got the other handle that's already on it. So I'm fine with that. So I don't need the handle things. Um, and, I mean, it's not like I'm going to use it, you know, 10 hours a day or nothing like that. I mean, we were starting to clean up the gray water pit, the area around it, all the weeds, because I need to open that up so that we can dig the trench. And all that and rake back there so but the John Shred gave up the ghost as I've said so anyways um, I'm gonna try and keep this well under 20 minutes um, so I'll put this together tomorrow I'll go get some gas in the morning for it uh, just so I can do a new mix of 25 to 1 I had 50 to 1 pre-mixed already but I poured that into the boat the boat gas tank so I've got the six gallon gas tank almost full now um, and that's at 50 to 1, so I just did it that way. I tried, I started the motor up for a couple minutes uh, to test the new hose and everything that I ordered for it, and I put together, and that's like the regular setup instead of the gas body setup. It's working fine. Motor uh, is not sucking any air or anything like that from the from the lines or from the gas tank. So, so there, that, um, so that's what's going on with that. So, as I say, the boat's ready to roll. Um, 
they actually mailed me my well my boating license i've got it my plastic one finally because uh, i had to get a replacement mine and finally gave up the ghost so uh yeah i guess i'm on my own tomorrow for cleanup i'm going to take a load to the dump of what i can true is needing to he's going to come by and take a load of the dump but he's going to need to have, use my pickup truck because his pickup truck has got all these big construction things on it and so it's a real task for him to have to take those off come here load the dump shit up in there go to the dump dump it off you know and then go all the way back and then load all the construction stuff it's just that's 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 too much I, I you know what so that's why i told him i said like you know he's probably my truck before to go pick up atv uh, an ATV frame and all that back up in Madoc. So I'm not worried about true driving the truck. Um, so anyway, I'll, I'll work it out with him. So, so anyway, I got to hire somebody. We'll see what happens over the next day or two with the ad. But somebody always pops up. So they just don't seem to last very long. <laughs> it's like I seem to get all the guys that are like either on the edge of their flakes or this or that. Cause I'm not hard on them. It's like, you know, like I don't yell, I don't scream at them, I don't stand over them. I mean, nothing like that. It's just, you know, it's, uh, I'm just lucky that way, I guess. So, anywho, um, <clears throat> tons of traffic coming out. So, I mean, it's a beautiful weekend, uh, but I've noticed lots of boats going by lots of ATVs going by so there are people that haven't closed their cottages or they're reopening them at least temporarily or whatever because a lot of people shut down after Labor Day but there's a lot of people coming up and down our road here so um, there's still people out and about so who knows maybe we'll see another boat on the uh, Robertson Lake so anyway that's about all I have for today um, I'll put that together tomorrow I'm gonna finish the weed whipping over there myself uh, boats ready to go, uh, plants up in the back, uh, I've, I've uh, got those yesterday, we dealt with that, already talked about that, um, yeah, and I guess, uh, you know, I'll, I'll continue to do what I can do at least anyways, and I'll do some more weed whipping tomorrow, and then we'll take a trip over to Robertson Lake and uh, see if we can go get a walleye or two, um, actually I only need one, I don't need that much, but uh, anyways, um, you know, so I'll film all that. I'll bring this camera and the phone camera for the for the fishing over at Robertson. I'm gonna go pick up some more gas for the boat. I'll probably fill up the 12 gallon tank, and that way I got lots. That'd be 18 gallons, and I mean, I don't, I, I, actually, I don't even need to do it. Robertson Lake is such a small lake, and for the time and where I'll be going on it, I won't even put a dent in the six gallon tank. So I might, maybe I just leave that for now. Although gas is at a really good price right now. It's at a dollar forty to a liter it's like way way down from where it was one thing i did notice though i uh, i didn't realize he'd been here but he's been here in the last day or two but my plates for the bus turned back up here yeah there's two of them there so brett has been here um but i guess we missed each other i'm going to text him because i want to see you know how he made out with the bus motor and everything so anyway so i got my plates back i'm happy about that uh, not that I was worried about him. I wasn't. So, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to ask him if I can film him and tell the story of what he went through since I, uh, since he bought the bus from me because, you know, he's a mechanic and all that. So it'd be kind of interesting to hear that story. If he's into it, I'll have to see if he's into it. He's got a garage over there, so I'll probably film over there and, you know, with him near the bus or something. Anyway, I'm going to ask him, but I'm going to text him and say, Hey, I got my plates back right on brother. And, uh, um, so, but I want to hear like, okay, you were going to, last we spoke, you were taking it out for a test run to find out why there's oil in the radiator and all that. So anyway, I'm sure he'll have an update, hopefully anyways. So uh, that's about it. Uh, I'm going to stop this at 15 minutes. So I've had my coffee and my puppy, pup, this thing's still going. Luke. Oh, she's at, I think I finally, because she's fully charged, and she's finally not putting out any puffs. So that's it. I, with you guys watching, I actually finally finished this. The never-ending, uh, uh, you know, bzz pipe, or whatever you want to call this. Nope, that's it. She's done. Wow. I'll have to send message to Luke. 
Okay, everyone, we'll be good to your fellow human. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, you want to support the site or my video and all that, whatever, paypal.com slash lad from the woods. And uh, what else? Oh, that's it. Well, peace, live long, and no, peace, long life, and live long and prosper. And there you go. That's a wrap for September the 13th. I feel like Waller Conquer. That's a wrap. Anyway, see you guys later. I know, I'm an idiot. Okay, I know. I mean, you know, Trader Park boy kind of guy, but living in the woods. What do you want me to say? So one of my followers said, oh, you're like Mr. Leahy. And I thought, me, I think he might think he's insulting me. And I'm going, no, that's actually the highest compliment you can make. The actor, John Dunworth, that played him, who's now passed away, rest in peace. John and Mr. Leahy. I mean, one of the greatest characters ever put on TV. I mean, <laughs> so if you want to call me a Mr. Leahy, you go right ahead. I prefer Ricky, but I'll take Mr. Leahy. Okay, so anyway, if you ever see this, bud, that was quite a compliment. Thank you. I don't think you meant it that way. But if you didn't, then you don't understand Trader Park Boys. But that's okay. Okay? All right, everyone. Bye-bye.